previously on Hell's Kitchen. 12 aspiring chefs from all walks of life. Get in the kitchen, move! Failed miserably in their first encounter with Chef Ramsay. It looks like baby vomit. I'd rather eat poodle shit. Oh my God. Then. The teams will be men versus women. He ignited a battle of the sexes. We want two women at the end. Watch out, girls. At the first dinner service. Hell's Kitchen is now open. I'm shaking. Virginia was completely overwhelmed. I just want some food now. I don't know what to do. Heather, get on the fucking appetizers. Yes, sir. And Heather shined. Thank you, Heather. Service, please. In the men's kitchen. Oh! Tom felt the heat. You're sweating in the food. I'm a schwetzer. Don't worry about that. With virtually no food going out. I want my food. Listen to that shit. Shut it down. Chef Ramsay declared the women the losers. Holly. Take off your jacket. And the mother of six was the first to leave Hell's Kitchen. Wake up! In week two. Get into the dumpsters, now. After both teams got an early morning lesson in waste management, <laughs> the women staged a comeback. Ladies, congratulations. And won the first challenge. Oh, that's beautiful. That night, they partied in the hot tub. And so did Larry. My downfall is women. But hours later, I really don't feel well. Larry left Hell's Kitchen forever. See you later, alligator. Then, at dinner service, Heather took charge of the women's kitchen. Don't forget to put the shredded parmesan in there. While in the men's kitchen. There's a problem. Why don't you tell it? There's a problem. There were breakdowns in communication. We need two quail, chef. There's quail nowhere on that ticket. Would you like me to fucking email that to your Blackberry? No, chef. Then, disaster struck. Hi. You OK? No, calm down. No, she got burned. She got burned, chef. And for the second time in 24 hours, a chef was rushed to the hospital. Even without Heather, the women managed to pull it together. That tastes nice. Thank you. And the losing team is the blue team. Gabe, take off your jacket and get out of Hell's Kitchen. In week three, the women won another challenge. Two complete accomplished dishes. And enjoyed a day on the high seas. I wish I Chef was here to rub lotion in the Yeah. <laughs> When the ladies return, I still start to bleed. Yeah. The battle of the sexes turned ugly as Garrett duped it out with Heather. Your women have dinner ready for us, man. When we get home, not your wife, not your girlfriend. Then at dinner service, don't send anything, Heather, unless you know it's perfect. When steady Heather stumbled, that's it, Sarah. Fantastic. Keep it up now, yeah. Thank Move. you, Chef. Her rival Sarah stepped up. Princess Heather, that's the way she works. In the men's kitchen, Tom. Stop caring now, haven't you? No, I haven't. And Giacomo. Why is the oven not on? You donkey! Came under fire. And when the men were declared the losers, you were bad. Giacomo, the pizza maker, was sent home. And with five women and only three men remaining, I'm giving you a leader, Heather, in the blue team. I don't need leadership. The battle of the sexes was over. I'm pissed off. I'm going to have to go against my girl. Then. Are you ready? When Chef Ramsay opened the restaurant for a surprise lunch. You take grill, you take fries. Heather led the former men's team to their first challenge victory. <laughs> At dinner. I'm ready and wait for your call. Sarah sabotaged Virginia. Where's the turbot? I haven't fired it yet. She said that she's ready when I am. You want to start lying to me. I'm not lying to you, Chef. While Heather did her best to turn the blue kitchen around. I need to find more. Wait, know, but hey! I Cut it out. Cut it out. I totally feel like I'm the babysitter. It was a night of complete frustration for Chef Ramsay. I've had enough! And there was no winning there team. Go. Yeah, there you go. The blue team, the red team, nominate someone that's leaving. Tom and Virginia were up for elimination. The person leaving Hell's Kitchen, Tom. You gotta go find a job. Then, in week five, Chef Ramsay tested the chef's taste buds. The matchup against Heather was a chance to prove myself. A near-perfect Virginia led the red team to victory. Three out of four, very well done. Thank you. And they were rewarded with a TV Guide photo shoot. Nice. But when they returned, Sarah and Virginia picked up right where they left off. Kathleen consider you a friend. Oh, I'm not popular again, bummer. She's just like, mm, mm, mm. Meanwhile, Heather bonded with opposing teammate, Rachel. If I go, you better win. If you go, I will cry. Stop it. At dinner. Summer's cooked beautifully. Thank you, chef. Virginia was at her best, and Rachel was at her worst. It, it, you're in jeopardy of screwing the whole fucking thing. That man will not break me. While in the blue kitchen, 
Keith received a rare compliment. No one ever actually told you how good you could be. The red team lost. Rachel, take your jacket off. You don't quit having the dream because of one night. <laughs> Move your asses! Chef Ramsay challenged the remaining players to find inspiration in a fresh food market. Down here, come on. We're gonna need onion. Sir, please. It was Virginia. Your bird's got big breath. Thank you. Who once again led the red team to victory. Virginia, you want to roll? I just think we got fucking cheated. And a night on the town. They're flipping us off. They're flipping us off. Then at dinner. This is our last table in Hell's Kitchen. The blue team completed their first service ever. Oh my god. But thanks to the red team, Chef Ramsay was in no mood for celebration. Now it's turning into being a fucking big embarrassment. Ladies, you know damn well you lost. Mirabel, take off your jacket. And the cafeteria chef from the Bronx went home. Congratulations. In week seven, Chef Ramsay combined the five remaining chefs into one team. Each of you will have the same 10 ingredients. But gave them their first individual challenge. Keith, you got the most amazing color. Keith won a trip to Las Vegas. I'm going to show you the restaurant that one of you are that close to winning. But Chef Ramsay had another surprise. One more thing. You can take someone with you. I'm going to take Virginia. That was the weakest thing I've ever seen in my life. Keith betrayed Garrett, his best friend in Hell's Kitchen. Listen, dude, I feel Listen, bad. nothing. You're a liar. Then at dinner. Now the pressure is really on. Heather received a rare compliment. That is absolutely spot on. While Virginia. You just talk crap. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Sarah. They won't stick. That's why it's called non-stick. And Garrett. The chicken is raw. Incurred Chef Ramsay's wrath. You're going to kill someone. Garrett, take off your jacket. And the former prison chef was released from Hell's Kitchen. I wanted this more than anything. Then the final four were taken to a secret location to run their own restaurant. Here are your restaurants. It was Virginia. Who else wants some lovin'? With her turkey panini, who stole the hearts of the construction workers. Congratulations. Wow. She won the most desirable reward ever in Hell's Kitchen. You're through to the final three. Being in the safe zone, I was so excited. While Heather suffered her biggest disappointment. They picked mine as the worst. I felt my heart drop. But at dinner service. 45 seconds. Who's holding this up, Heather? Virginia is chef. Virginia struggled. I can't. I can't, you guys. Virginia, you're no longer safe. And just when it looked as if her fate was sealed. Cheers. I don't think oh my god. Chef Ramsay gave her a choice. I'm a man of my word. If you decide to stay, I'll send Sarah home. And in a surprising conclusion. I wanna freaking stay. Sarah, take off your jacket and leave Hell's Kitchen. Maybe I'm just really not good enough to do great things. Last week. 20 minutes, we create that. Virginia's impeccable palate. Absolutely spot on led her to another challenge victory. Congratulations. And a private cooking lesson with Chef Ramsay. Scare them. But if I scare you, you're not going to forget. Dude, he's showing her. Then at dinner, Chef Ramsay gave each chef an opportunity to shine. Each and every one of you will be running the entire service. Heather took charge. I need those super total. How long, Pete? Pete. Seven minutes. Six Six minutes. minutes. And Virginia delivered the performance of her life. Start to dress one salmon, one chicken. Yes, yes, chef. Heather, do you hear me? One salmon, one chicken. Yes. Keith's mediocre leadership. How long on those two spaghettis? I've lost track of where we are. And bad attitude. I didn't say it. Chef. I don't want any more fucking arguing. Just two risottos. Shit. Made him a nominee for elimination, along with Virginia. The person leaving house kitchen tonight is Keith. I personally think that you have a hard on for Virginia. Why'd you have to be so fucking rude? Now, I definitely know I've made the right decision. After the most shocking decision ever in Hell's Kitchen, Chef Ramsay had his two finalists. Tonight, the moment you've been waiting for. Virginia, the salad chef from California. I want to freaking win tonight so badly I can taste it. Takes on Heather, the seasoned line chef from New York. I'm going to give this girl a fight tonight. They have to deal with the hungry media. How does your husband feel about you being on the show? and face their former competitors. I'm not gonna work for a woman. Not gonna happen. And their demands. I want some money and I want it right now. They must both pull their teams together. Uh, take it back with you, do it again. Retarded. Overcome every adversity. <laughs> Tom caught himself. 
Son of a bitch. And meet Chef Ramsay's highest expectations. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Make it perfect. Who will have the restaurant in the billion dollar Vegas resort? Who will win Hell's Kitchen? Congratulations. Find out tonight on the season finale. of Hell's Kitchen. <laughs> Heather and Virginia celebrate making it to the final two. Cheers to you and me. Cheers. But Chef Ramsay has another surprise. How do you feel right now? I am like in shock. I think it was a big All of a sudden, my mother and my husband walk in. He's like, hi, babes. <laughs> oh my god. Papa, I did it, Papa. <laughs> oh, I missed you guys baby. so much. I was, I was completely shocked. When they came through the doors, I was just, oh, I missed you, you guys so much. <laughs> I have you guys in my pocket all day. I really feel like I'm dreaming right now. Am I doing? <laughs> oh, you have no idea what's happened. Literally, I had to dive into dumpsters. Dive. Get into the dumpsters now. <laughs> I've, I have so many good friends now. That's they, nice. You know, that it was a nice experience. This, that girl, Rachel. I don't know if everyone will miss you the most. Stop it. Unreal. But my palate is so good, I won the taste test contest. Chicken, hot dog, Swiss cheese. Virginia, you got the high score. Thank you. I win. Um, like we had to duplicate Chef Ramsay's recipe exactly. The sauce is a grapefruit beurre blanc. Absolutely spot on. You have a palate. What a weird experience. I mean, I know my my big weaknesses now because I know I now know the things I have to work on. I feel like I have gone through the best part of life and the worst part of life and. I think that I've learned more about myself. <laughs> I did it. I told you I'd do it. Mm -hmm. Just the look on their face, like, did it. It feels like a dream that they're here. Oh, I'm so glad they're here. I wanted them to see me so bad here. All right, Mom, I love you. My mom's proud of me no matter what, so, um, this is just kind of like the cherry on a Sunday. After a short reprieve from the hell that is Hell's Kitchen, Virginia and Heather are once again on their own. I love you. Me too. Bye. Bye, guys. Bye. That was so great. <laughs> you got to see him, though. Aww. It's a new day in Hell's Kitchen, and it's back to business. All that stands between the finalists and their dream is each other. The game is really on now. It all comes to service. And when it gets down to service, Virginia can't cut it. And especially next to me, I'll run her over. Heather and I are so equal, but so different. A lot of people underestimate me, but I'm gonna use my palate against her, because I know that that's one thing that she doesn't have. This is Heather. Hello, good morning. Good morning, Chef. Listen up. Party's over. Get out of here now, both of you. Yes, Chef. Bye. All right, let's go. <clears throat> let's go. Due to the notoriety of Gordon Ramsay and Hell's Kitchen, the entertainment press has turned out in droves to meet this year's finalists. I never thought I'd be doing a press conference. Are you serious? 
And I thought for sure we were going to say, now go in the kitchen and make everybody a bagel. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome. I'm very proud to introduce Heather and Virginia. Hell's Kitchen, two finalists. And boy, have we gone to hell and back to get where we are today. Out of these two, only one can win Hell's Kitchen. We're open for questions. And Madam in the back row, please. What were your thoughts when you found out what the prize was going to be? I was like, oh my god. <laughs> when they said, you know, Vegas. I think that's so huge. And, you know, you have your competitors here, but there's bigger competitors in Vegas. More than I can ever ask for. Madam, the second row. This question is for Virginia. Yes. With you being newly married, how will you deal with it if you win and have to move to Vegas? I married somebody that's a chef as well, so if I was to get the restaurant in Vegas, I would hire him. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> Don't mix business with pleasure. <laughs> Last question. Uh, sir. Mark Long, Fox Reality. What did you guys do on your off time when you weren't actually in the kitchen getting berated by the chef? Um, we made up the dance. <laughs> Just... Did we see the dance? No. Yeah. <laughs> no. Yeah, who would like to see the dance? Okay. Cue the music. Okay. Five, six, seven, eight. Dun, 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 dun. Jump on it. Jump on it. Jump on it. I cannot believe we did that dance. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for coming. I can confirm that one of these two will be the winner of Hell's Kitchen. But before that can happen, both of them must face their greatest test yet. And that test starts now. There we are. I was like, ah, like it shocked me because it like dropped down the bar, hit the ground. Excellent. Now, as you can see, the restaurant has been divided into two sections. Virginia. Yes, chef. This blue section is your kitchen. Yes, chef. That is going to become your restaurant. Yes, chef. Heather, the red kitchen is your kitchen. And this part of the dining room is going to become your dining room. I'm in the red kitchen. And red is where I come from. Happy? Yes. If I was any happier, I'd need a personal assistant. <laughs> right. Now, both of you go back to your dorms, gather your thoughts, and think how your restaurant will be. Ladies and gentlemen, Heather. Thank you. Virginia. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, ladies. Well, he always does that. When you're walking away, he goes, oh, and by the way. Clearly, you're both going to be head chefs. Now look the part. I'll come back with your jackets on. Thank you, Chef. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, I didn't expect that, did you? Uh-uh, that was cool. <laughs> I'm beyond excited. Heather's excited, and I'm so excited that she's so excited, and we're both excited. Oh, this is a nice jacket. I love it. It's written like, look at me, I'm cool. So we're just supposed to think of menu ideas and colors and stuff? The game is really on now. Oh, yeah. I'm going to be able to see my dream right in front of my eyes, and it's just an amazing feeling. I'm so happy I could die. I want to win the restaurant first, and then I'll die. But... This is definitely my dream restaurant that I'm creating here. I want art on the plate as well, put art on the walls, and really give people a visual understanding of who I am. With 36 hours to remodel Hell's Kitchen, it's now time for Heather and Virginia to meet with their designers. Right, ladies, now it's time to turn your vision into reality. This is John Jenner. He designed Hell's Kitchen. This man, Hi. Albie Corrado. This man designed Red Rock. Now, they're there to help, create, and listen to your sort of vision. After that, I want you to meet Jean-Philippe and give him an insight to the uniforms and what kind of atmosphere and ambiance you want to create in your restaurant. Kitchen-wise, Virginia, yes, you're sure. going to be working with Marianne. Okay. She's your sous chef. Work with her and help design your menu. I'll try not to burn her or cut her. Try not to burn her or cut her. Great, thank you. 
Heather, you're working with Scott. Yeah? Yes, sir. Use him to help you create your menu as well. Thank you, sir. We've got two very special restaurants to get designed. Let's get started. Yes, yeah? sir. Let's okay. go. Why don't you give us the big vision? Tell us what, what your restaurant is. I have this one vision of like three picture frames of women cooking. Maybe more than just a picture. Somehow maybe like a video wall where it's actually could or change. Animated. Oh, that would be awesome. I'm obsessed with water, so I had the idea of making like the walls look like a waterfall and it would look like kind of like running water. I want it to be You're young. Mature clientele, sexy clientele. So is it going to be a family-style restaurant? Definitely. I love my family. They have been my inspiration, and they've been in my pocket for the past two days. <laughs> Thank you guys so much. Thanks I'll a lot. see you guys soon. Thank you. All right, bye-bye. Two spaces, two days. Let's do it. I want a little bit of information regarding the uniform. Very outgoing, trendy. Colorful. And I, I don't like bright colors. I like dark, 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 dark. You want to have skirts for the ladies? Yes. The, the skirts, do you want them above the knee? Yeah. I was like, we got to make these girls look sexy. I want long bistro aprons with the crease on the front. I want the servers to be like ghosts. Me a hug. <laughs> okay, now. Yeah. I'm not the biggest hugger, but I've been hugging the crap out of everyone lately. How do you feel right now? Oh my god. It's amazing, isn't I'm it? I'm so excited. Congratulations. Thanks. Are you surprised to see me? No. I'm really, really excited to work with Marianne because I think she and I see eye to eye on a lot of things. I want my signature dish to be white fish. The food is all going to be reflecting on the person I am. Very vibrant, very colorful, outgoing. I want to keep it simple okay. and concentrate on the flavors. I think um, this is my signature dish, the chicken roulade. Definitely, OK. The royal theme of my menu is Virginia's brain. So looking at this, you'd want to eat here? Hell yeah, I would eat there every night. You don't understand. You're going to wet yourself. All right. It's I'm so looking, good. I haven't wet myself in a long time. I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> OK, ladies, two seconds, please, quick. The dream is now becoming a reality. How exciting is that? Beyond excited. <laughs> OK, there is other very important business we need to take care of. Pack your bags, we're going to Vegas. Let's go. Up, right now. Quick. <laughs> Get your bags packed, we're going to Vegas. No. Oh, yes. Yay! <laughs> Jesus. Can someone mop the floor? Oh my god! No way! <laughs> She's excited! Oh my god, this ain't gonna get any better! I'm freaking out right now. <laughs> I'm gonna get to see my dream. That's just so cool. <laughs> Are you crying? <laughs> A little. Aww. <laughs> I'm so happy. I'm very excited to go to Las Vegas. It's so unpredictable. I have no idea what's next. I have no idea what's gonna go on there. No way! Here we go. You never know what trick Chef Ramsay has up his sleeve. Maybe he wants us to build the restaurant. I'll do it. Can I just say, I thought you've both done bloody well. Thank, Thank you. you. Just think back to when you presented those signature dishes. What's cooked on the plate? The nuts are toasted. The nuts are toasted? Yes. Oh, fuck me. Heather. Very thick on the outside, so it's very hard to sort of... Digest. That was my first time I ever got to meet you. Did you think that both of you would be finalists in Hell's Kitchen? No. I didn't. From that dish, no. Virginia, I think you have the record for winning the most challenges. <laughs> Maybe, I think so. All but one. The winning team is the red team. Virginia, wow. you're on a roll. Now for the winner. Virginia, you're Ooh, in the final nice. three. The winner of this challenge. Virginia, you're going to spend some quality time with me. Quiet in the kitchen! Yes, yeah, Chef. Heather. Remember in service when you burnt your hand? You wouldn't stop cooking. I, I knew I hurt myself. Yeah. I, I knew because I felt my fingers sear. Hand in there. There's quail in the oven, Marianne. Uh, two extra quails, not orders, just extra quails. I didn't want the girls to lose because I made a mistake. 
When it comes down to challenges, Virginia's awesome. I've kicked her ass every night in service. I've blown past her. I've gone on circles away from her. She kicked my ass in challenges. Well Cheers, done. everybody. Thank, Thank you, you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you. Well done. Chef Ramsay has brought his two finalists to Las Vegas, not to celebrate, but to challenge them. Right, ladies, I brought you to Vegas to make sure that you understand who you're going to be cooking for. Here, I reserved this kitchen inside this restaurant, both to go in there, cook, and serve these customers in this casino your signature dishes. Are you ready? Yes, yes Chef. Let's go. In this battle of signature dishes, it's Virginia's chicken roulade with a beurre blanc sauce versus Heather's Chilean sea bass with pureed cauliflower. My signature dish is definitely me on a plate because it's refreshing. I really think the customers are gonna like it. All right, all right, all right. My signature dish is stuff with the best Swiss cheese you can get, prosciutto. I wanna win so badly that I can fill it in my heart and soul. Ready? Yes, Chef. Let's go. The dishes are prepared, and now 20 Vegas customers will determine the winner of this challenge. Here we go. Tell it. Hello, how are you? I'm fine, thanks. How are you? I'm well, thank you. This is my chicken roulade with the beurre blanc sauce. Mm. Swirl it in the sauce. Chilean sea bass with cauliflower puree and carrots. Which one do you prefer? I like the sea bass. Sea bass. Thank you, sir. Hi. This is my chicken roulade with a beurre blanc sauce. Nice. Here we go. Seared Chilean sea bass with curry, cauliflower, and carrots. Yes. Which one of the two dishes would you go to the restaurant for? All right, probably pick the seafood first. Excellent. <laughs> mm. I got to go there. So you prefer the chicken? I prefer the chicken. Put the whole thing in your mouth, swirl it in the sauce. Right. I like the bass a little better. I actually like the chicken. Chicken. Excellent. Thank you. Which one of those two dishes do you prefer? That one. Bass. I prefer the first one. The chicken. Mm -hmm. Great. The bass. Yeah. I prefer this one. The chicken. Thank, thank, you. Thank, you. thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Give me five. Give me five. Four for Virginia. Five for Heather. It was me five and Virginia four. I was like, oh, no way. Halfway through the challenge, and Heather's bass continues to lead over Virginia's chicken. Bass, 100%. Whoa. Which one? Sea bass. Sea bass. The chicken. The chicken. The chicken, she right. said. Definitely that one. Definitely the chicken. Definitely the chicken. The chicken. The chicken. The chicken. Yes. It was very close. It was neck and neck the whole time. I poached the chicken. I tried to get my way by by flirting with the customers. You poached it? Yes, I oh, did. Oh, I tell you, well, I would go for the chicken. You ate that like a pro. I might have to go with the fish. Virginia was caressing the customers, and you know, oh, like you gotta be kidding me. Which dish do you prefer? The bad. Thank you. Thank you very much. I gotta go with the first one. The chicken. Oh. Virginia. Yes. If you get this, it's over. Yes. Heather, you need this for a tie. Yes. Sir. Yes. Let's go. Come try my chicken roulade. <laughs> smell it. It smells so fantastic. Explain about really it. Good. Eat it. it. Take it a whole thing in. Which one do you prefer? I think both of them. It's very good. Both are very good. That's very kind, but I need a decision from you. Which one is I think the, best? the best? The oh, <laughs> best. With the challenge tied up, it's up to one final customer to determine the winner. This is my chicken roulade. There's some. Don't yes, eat it all. No, eat it all. Exactly. Fishy, fishy. Yeah, I know you love it. Which one of those dishes did you prefer? Oh, oh, I don't know. I couldn't, I couldn't make the decision. You can get chicken any day. <laughs> Ladies, stop. Give him some time to think. They were both excellent. Um, I'd have but to order both of them. I need a decision um, from you. The chicken. The chicken! Oh. Well done. And that was very closely contested there, yes? Losing the challenge, it sucked. You know, even though I'm this well-rounded chef, maybe I'll still lose because Virginia has this palate that's just untouchable. Posty, come with me. One more thing to show you. Let's go. After the challenge, Chef Ramsay took us up to the rooftop where you could see all of Vegas. It was awesome. I thought he was going to be like, now jump off the building if you really want the restaurant. This is it. In 24 hours from now, one of you is going to be winning Hell's Kitchen. And this city here is going to become your hometown. And I think back to what it was like when I opened my first restaurant, the 
tension, the nerves, the pressure, extraordinary. And I wanted to share that moment with you by saying well done and invite both of you to London. Here are the tickets. Oh, wow. No way. Tickets for you both and an invitation to dinner, my establishment in London, to come and enjoy yourselves. Oh, my God, Thank thanks. You. <laughs> You've got to be kidding me. Because <laughs> I wanted to go to London. I wanted to see his restaurant. You'll see exactly where I started and what it meant to me when I got my first restaurant. I was so surprised. I, I loved it. That was such a kind and generous gift. Yes. Awesome. <laughs> yes. Thank you. Thank you. OK. Let's get back to Hell's Kitchen. Yeah? Yes, chef. With 18 hours before their newly remodeled restaurants open their doors, there are some unexpected issues for the chefs to deal with. Hi, Albie. Hey, how you doing? Nice to see you. Same here. Heather, how are how you? How are you? Good. How's it going? Some real good news, and we have some decisions that we have to make. We've got, we've got a few things to talk about. We've got a lot of things to do, huh? One of the big issues is the plum color that you want to do on the uh, columns. It's just really coming out a little too dark. Like, if it's lighter, is it going to go with this color? It, we could do it just a couple, just a couple shades lighter. Yeah. OK, perfect. The stairs. Yeah. We're not able to get the plexiglass that we need. <clears throat> We're trying to figure out a way to give the stairs punch. So we've thought about introducing this teal color. We couldn't get what we wanted, but we still made something special out of it. OK, that's fine. One of the big issues here is the water wall. We just got to really find out about how we're getting the water pumped into this sink. There's a lot of work to be done, a lot of progress to be made. And the waterfalls, it's definitely getting me nervous. Honestly, I am stressed out. What else? Our, our upholstery guy does not have the capacity to reupholster nine booths. It's concerning that, you know, a lot of the things in the restaurant aren't even done. Everything could be wrong. I don't know how, how fast I'm gonna fall asleep because it's like an, it's like Christmas Eve for me right now and I'm just so excited. I'm not gonna be able to sleep. Oh my god, I'm, there's just gonna be so much on my mind. I can almost taste. Vegas right now. It's so close. And I'll be damned if I let anyone take that away from me. I just was really excited when I woke up like it was Christmas Day. This is definitely one of the biggest days of my life. All right, you get to go in here, little polka doodle. Mr. Lamb Wellington. <laughs> I can't lie here. There's just 12 hours left before Heather or Virginia will have their own restaurant. But little do they know, the key to their future lies in their past. So the biggest hug. How are you? <laughs> I was really happy to see Heather in the finals. Virginia, big surprise. Yo, breakfast, bitches. Hey, Tom. I didn't think Virginia was gonna get as far as she did. I thought there was three strikes and you're out, like me. I don't know. You guys would be walking in like that. Yeah. So, are you guys gonna like help us today and stuff? There might not be a lot of work to do. <laughs> I knew that we were going to have to pick our own teams. And there's three really strong people and three really weak people. I'm excited you guys are here. I knew exactly who I wanted in my kitchen. I got to rely on whoever's in the kitchen to make my food. I really got to trust them. Hello. Hi, good morning. I'd like to see you and Heather and all your friends in the kitchen straight away, please. OK, thanks. Bye. Bye. Think you can open house kitchen without K3? It's been a while since I've seen some of you. Yes, yeah, chef. <laughs> Giacomo. Yes. 
Dude, you don't have the fucking gas on, stupid! Giacomo! Tom! Tom! You're sweating in the fucking food. Good to see you, big boy. Thank you. Rachel. Do you want to go home? It, it... <clears throat> Sarah. Hello, sir. Jeff, did I put on my uniform and come back in the kitchen? I think that is a good idea. Garrett. Come on, I got to get that going. What to say to you about taste? Taste? Taste! Keith. Keith, do me a favor. Just pull your pants up a little bit, yes? You got it, Chef. I wear my underwear up high and my pants low, because that's how I rock them. <laughs> Good to see you all back. Welcome back. Ladies, these are the people that you'll be relying on for the most important night of your cooking career. OK, Virginia. Yes, Chef. You won the challenge in Vegas just by a fraction. So you get to choose first. OK. Think the first person that you'd like on your brigade. Think about your decision and think about it carefully. Yes. First person I pick is Yuki. I'd rather be on Heather's team because Virginia doesn't deserve it. I personally don't think you're ready to lead. I personally think that you have a hard on for Virginia. It's a fucker. OK. Heather, again, crucial decision. Take your time and tell me who you would like on your team. Rachel Chef. I knew who I wanted to get. I'm really happy I have Rachel. OK, Virginia, second person that you'd like on your team is who? Um, you, Tom. Thank you. Woo, Tom, you touch. Thank you, dear. I know how Tom works. He wasn't that great in the kitchen. He didn't know what he was doing. He couldn't handle the pressure. And I'm so happy that he's on my team. Wow. <laughs> Look, he's already sweating. I'm stealing. Well, shit, it's hot over there. OK, Heather, second person you'd like on your team. Who is it? Sarah, chef. Sarah. Okay. Thank you. Sarah and I are friends. I don't even consider you a friend at all. Oh, I'm not popular again. Bummer. I figured I'd get a lot more response from Tom than ordering Sarah around. So far, Heather, all girls. Virginia, all boys. OK, Virginia, third and final person. Giacomo. I thought that just giving Giacomo a chance and not having Giacomo be last would boost his confidence a little bit. Plus, I, I like Giacomo's attitude better. All right, let's do this. I was kind of surprised they left me around, and I ended up not getting picked at all. Garrett, please go and join Heather's team. I've had respect for Heather. It won't be very hard to uh, get motivated to work my ass off for. I know exactly how to get what I want out of Garrett. OK, Virginia and Heather, go back to your dorms and brief your teams on your menu. Let's go. Off the door. With just under 10 hours to go before tonight's dinner service, Heather and Virginia must now fulfill one of the head chef's most crucial duties, inspiring their team. All right, I wanted to pick people that everybody thought was weak and see what I could do with you guys. That's why you picked me? No. I felt that if I did pick weak people, you could carry them a little. I'm really glad you guys are here. No matter what differences everyone has, just be really cool. Sarah and I have had our crap back and forth. I told you, get back in the kitchen and fuck off! I think it's funny just cutting up and being a smart ass. Yeah, I think you're a bitch. We may not get along outside of this kitchen, but we want to see Heather succeed. I don't think Heather has anything to worry about, and I'm a team player. I was, like, picturing in my head, like, who I would want to pick, and you guys are exactly... Starters, three of them. Jalapeno, tortellini stuffed with manchego cheese. I like this menu. It's kind of cake grease Herbs. Style. I think Virginia's menu sounded great. Um, it's just a matter of her executing it. Appetizers, everything is wicked easy. Every station is really light. New station only has one item. That's it. It's not chicken, is it? Garrett, the chicken is wrong. Yes, Chef. Are you going to kill someone? No. <laughs> I like Heather's menu because she was smart about it. I really think Heather planned this out and set us up for success. 
I'm not gonna put a lot of stress on you guys. And obviously, you guys do know that what I demand is like perfection. All right, listen, if you win, you have to guarantee something. If there's money involved, I'm gonna make sure that I do everything in my power for you to win. If I win, I know. I don't have to give you guys anything. Listen, I want some money and I want it right now in writing. I just feel like bribes don't make people work harder. It's gonna make me work harder. <laughs> I'll give you the money, even though I don't really believe in that. <laughs> I'll give you each $1,000. All right. All right. I'm the only one who doesn't have a job when this is over. So, you know, a thousand bucks is always good to me. With only eight hours to prep a brand new menu and a multi million dollar restaurant on the line, Heather and Virginia are pushing their teams to perform. You guys, here's tasting spoons. Taste as much as you can all day. We are determined. It's a day of reckoning. This is their chance to get food out. I feel very confident today. My menu, my team, throughout everyone, the energy in the kitchen, I'm very proud of the way that things are going. Everything done by 3 o'clock, station set up. In the bank. Book your flight today. Hey, Heather. Yes? Can you come here for a second? Sure thing. We have a pretty big issue. These booths came out. You can see it doesn't fit on this side. It's tight on that side. We have it on this side tight. If we just cut out, cut this one little section. You OK if it's notched? Yeah. Just cutting a corner will, will work, and then we don't have to do a table in the middle. Then we're consistent. Yeah. But it's a really good option. Do so what you got to do, OK. You know? Well, I think we got a solution and, to that. Yeah. Awesome. High five. We'll give you a Food's coming along great. We're almost even set up. If you need help, holler. All right, we'll do it. It's a simple solution. So by 4 o'clock, everything has to be done, and we can go over all the dishes. I'm a little bit concerned about Tom and Giacomo when they get under pressure. You're cooking in a burnt pan, you fucking dick! You don't know what's going with the duck. No, sir, I don't. Oh, my god. But I know that all three of the boys are going to give me their best anyway. I really want to see them shine tonight. I make sure that they're nice and clean, because that's my pet peeve. I can't stand that. In the kitchen, I know what I'm doing, but I'm concerned about the dining room. I'll be right back. Hmm. Hi. How are you, John? How are you? Nice to see you, Albie. Hello. What's up? Well, um, we're, Not we're actually... Yeah, okay, we're... Okay, what is it? The water walls, as you can see, we don't have water running yet. We don't have the material on there yet. We haven't lit it. We don't know if we're going to get them to work. The waterfall should have been up by now, and they're not. They might not even be up when we open. I'm trying to say it calmly, but I really am worried about opening tonight, frankly. So what, what do you guys want to do, structure? give up and leave it like that? No, 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 no. I mean, that, that's the problem. I mean, we, we can't open with it like this. We can't give up like that. It's a hole in the wall. I'm a little stressed out. You focus on, on the food. Mm -hmm. We'll focus on this. With only four hours to go before the doors open, both dining rooms are still way behind schedule. Luckily, the kitchens are running smoothly. Looks good. Thanks, Chief. The finalists are preparing three starters, three entrees, and three desserts. Heather's appetizers include a warm goat cheese tart with candied pecans, and her entrees feature her signature spiced Chilean sea bass. The centerpiece of Heather's dessert menu is a warm bread pudding with caramel and vanilla ice cream. Ready? Yes. OK. Salad? Salad. Um, it has Asian chicken salad. Um, there's Napa cabbage, butter lettuce, mm -hmm. and some uh, spring onion. Unfortunately, the chicken looks like it's been chewed up. Regurgitated, chewed. It just uh, and it shows me that no one's cared the way they sliced that. Yeah. Next. This is my sea bass. Um, we put a little curry oil in the cauliflower. It's nice, but it's too boring. Uh, and it's tonight, it's not a boring night. Tonight it has to be mm, up Maybe there. OK, that looks stunning. My chocolate and banana. Yeah, that looks stunning. Absolutely stunning. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Very good. We had suggestions, which I'm totally accepting all of them. I'll work however long it takes to do it. OK, Virginia. Yes, yeah, chef. Here we go. For her big night, Virginia's starters will feature a jalapeno tortellini. Her entrees will include short ribs braised in red wine. And for dessert, an old-fashioned ice cream sundae. This is my tortellini. Presentation looks lovely. Thank you. Center of the tortellini. Spot on, really nice. Thank you. Just be careful of the thickness of the pasta. Fargo's nice. 
And I don't know what they're doing here, these little buggers here. I mean, it's a quail egg. What you're doing is putting things that look great on there, but you're not thinking about things that taste great. With the palette you have, I don't expect to see that on there right now, a day like today. So do something about that. The short rib. Braised short ribs mm -hmm. on top of parsnip puree and honey mustard sauce. I like that. I quite like those. You do? Good. Well done. Thank you. He pretty much liked my menu, just a few different tweaks, and, and it's all his opinion as well. It's nothing that I have to do. Virginia's typical creative Californian out there. Heather's very gritty, hard-ass New Yorker. You can't think of two menus that are at the opposite end of the spectrum from each other, so two completely different dining experiences. While the workers on Virginia's side of the restaurant are still scrambling to make her waterfall work. Heather, let's go in the dining room. Heather's restaurant is ready for Chef Ramsay's scrutiny. The feel is what? Uh, it's an inspiration by family. I want everyone to know how outgoing I am. Yes. And I love art. You've got the screens in the booths. Tell me about this bit over here. The wall right here is the video uh -huh. yeah. screen of myself. I want to get that across, that, that passion I have. I want everyone to see what I went through to get here. You've kept the colors very light. It's very vibrant, you know, you feel it. I want it to be like a white canvas, so everything that comes is an art dish. Yeah. Okay, now don't take this personally. Okay. Uh, one thing I'm not very happy about is the graffiti on the wall. It's um, dry erase, so you can just wipe it right off. Just everything's so elegant. You've done a really nice, cool job of making this look quite hip, young, vibrant. I just don't know if I want to sit and read that. I'd rather see a nice comment from you to the customers personally via a menu. The chef, he wasn't a total fan of the graffiti on the wall. I'm really concerned about that. Ready? Thank you. Yes. Let's go. Virginia. Virginia. Yes. Can we just have you for two seconds? Sure. With only 20 minutes before the doors open, Virginia is about to find out the fate of her waterfall. We've got news for you. Okay. All the holes have been filled. Okay. We've got water. I'm feeling like you're gonna be complete. Uh, cool, that's great. I think it looks great. Good. I'm really excited and um, now I know where to take a shower. My waterfalls are awesome. I was very concerned about that, but everything ended up working out. Thanks guys. It really adds something special to the room. Virginia, run me through the dining room. I'd like to see what you've done. Yeah, let's go, quick. What are you trying to tell them? I customers really, when they sit down? I want them to be comfortable and feel like they're in um, somewhat of a fine dining situation. Because uh, it's, it's sumptuous, it's rich. Yeah. There's, there's sort of nice, sedated colors. The main theme is supposed to be like, the desert and water it's and like, the desert yeah. sunset. That there's was there's water running off there, isn't there? Yeah. It looks cool when you're sat here and you're looking this nice array of lights. You know, it's, it's, I mean, one thing ladies enjoy in dining rooms is being lit properly. Mm -hmm. and one thing you've got right here is the lighting. Really nice glow on their faces. That's uh, interesting that you know that. What I like about this is cozy. Are you happy with it? I'm psyched. Good. And I just want it to be open and I want to get that, you know, full board and I want people to be working and rolling and moving and doing it. Speed it up, let go, speed it up. All right, guys, we're going to be starting in just a couple minutes. So exciting. Just minutes away from the most important service of their lives, Chef Ramsay has final words of advice for Heather and Virginia. Virginia, Heather, two seconds, please. Both of you are one dinner service away from winning your very own multi-million dollar restaurant in Vegas. Tonight, I'm going to be monitoring everything. What goes on the plate, what comes off the plate, your leadership qualities. When you talk to your brigade, they're not your friends. They are your staff now. It's your staff, your team, your big night. Get it right. Now, spend some time with your teams. Tell them exactly what you want. Good luck to you both. Thanks. Go and do the briefing now. Look, thanks, you yes. too. All right, guys, where's Rachel? Over here, real quick. All right, um, Giacomo. Opening the doors in literally three minutes. Be strong for me tonight. I'm counting on you. You're my blood, you're my engine right now. Communication is okay tonight. No frustration, no yelling. I I'm the one doing the yelling. Have fun tonight. If you burn something, don't serve it to me. Redo it. For the next four hours, I'm not your friend. I'm your boss. 
On the count of five, say that's my boy blue. One, two, three, four, five. That's my boy blue! Go red team! Tonight, there is excitement in Hollywood over the debut of Gordon Ramsay's two newest protégés. Virginia's Desert Oasis and Heather's Urban Bistro will go head to head. Don't slam us. I won't slam you guys. You've seen all these guys rush. Not pretty. Yeah, we don't do well. Let me be on the winning team for, for a change. Even a blind squirrel finds a nut. Today's the day Tom Pauly finds a nut. All right. Tonight's dinner service will determine who will become the executive chef at a multi-million dollar restaurant in the billion dollar Red Rock Resort in Las Vegas. Breathe. We got this in the bag. Yes, ma'am. Chuck him on. Yes, chef. You're cooking the fish, yeah? Yes, chef. Oven's on? Yes, chef. Are you sure? Positive. I checked it four times already. <laughs> <laughs> Feedback from tonight's diners is more important than ever, as it will help decide which chef deserves the opportunity of a lifetime. And I'll have the uh, scalps, please. Steak, medium well, please. All right, listen up. Four carbos, table 34. Three soups, one chicken salad. Entrees, three New Yorks, one bath. Yes, yes chef. chef. So, Red Team, uh, just started first to get in the kitchen. It's vibrant, it's moving, and it's it's fast. Everyone's short, sharp, punchy, and there's a really nice response. You feel quite secure in there because it sounds positive. Virginia, first order in. Yes, thank you very thank much. You. First order in. Louder. Louder, please. Louder, please. Four guests, table 23. Two scallops, two tortellinis. Entrees, two snapper, one chicken roulade, one short rib. All right, move, move your eyes. Yes, yes, chef. Thank you very much. So, Blue, very calm, very sedate, and um, not the same energy as the red team, which is not a really good positive sign before service. All right, up to the pass right now. Let's go. I don't hear any talking. I want to hear that countdown. Four minutes, three minutes, two minutes. Yes, Jeff. Yes, Jeff. Heather. Yes. Very important customers in tonight. Yes. Very. Yes. Unbeknownst to the chefs, the president of the billion dollar Red Rock Resort will be sampling food from each menu and giving Chef Ramsay his recommendation. Quality control, yes? Yes, and Chef. Everything, yes? Yes, Chef. Get this out. I need those abs now. Right now, my hand. Let's go. Tarts, please. Come on. I want this so freaking bad. I'm, I'm not going to take it laying down. I mean, I'm going to give this girl a fight tonight. Table 40, please. With Heather determined to get off to a fast start, appetizers are leaving the red kitchen in a hurry. Table 34. Meanwhile, in the blue kitchen, things aren't moving quite as fast. Food's hanging around too long, uh, Virginia. Yes, chef. I'm most nervous about idiots on the hotline screwing up my food. Virginia, you need help to say the word, OK? I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. Virginia was spending so much time plating these dishes, the food was just sitting there, and it was just a big mess. Virginia is meticulously plating each and every dish herself. Let me finish this, sauce around it. Wait, hold on, you don't take control here. But her need for perfection is causing a backup at the pass. Stop talking to your team. We're slowing down, yes? Meanwhile, 32 out of 50 of Heather's diners have already received their appetizers. It looks amazing, right? But the real test is in the tasting. It's not hot enough. It's not. It doesn't have a lot of flavor. Let me do something else instead. Chef. Yes. They didn't care for it. They didn't care for it. No, they were expecting it to be warm and, and then a little bit more flavor into it as well. Okay. So the gentleman wants to have the scallop soup. Instead. One scallop soup on the fly, please. Scallop soup. Mistakes are definitely not even an option for me. I do not want to walk away not a winner tonight. Everything that you touch, see, Call out is quality control. One dish has come back already. Lift them up and get a grip, yes? Yes, chef. No dishes are coming back tonight. No dishes. Now back one more. Sarah, make sure you're warming that tart all the way through. Understand? Yes, chef. While Heather tries to stabilize her kitchen, Virginia is also having quality control issues with her brigade. Giacomo, less salt, more walnut oil. Less salt, more walnut oil, chef. You know what? Redo the salad. Bring me another one. As fast as you can. I'm glad you made that decision, you know that. Now we're slow. But one thing you have done hey, is control the quality. But get them fired up a little bit, yeah? Yes. Come on, Jackie, my wakey wakey, big boy. You guys, you have to speed up. Oh, I gotta look like I'm doing something here when you're not fucking in the weeds. My panties are in a bunch. I'm 43 years old. I don't need anybody to get me all psyched up to go do my job. 
You know what I mean? It's an hour into dinner service, and Heather has served most of her appetizers. Let's go, let's go, let's go. In the blue kitchen, the good news is Virginia isn't letting any subpar food leave her kitchen. This, this is raw. Really? Just, you know what, just look at it. It's raw. The bad news is, thanks to Giacomo, not much is leaving the blue kitchen at all. Giacomo, how long for that snapper? 30 seconds, right 30 seconds, chef. I was running around like a jackass. I was kind of the biatch, if you will, of the whole group. I'm getting really concerned because nothing is coming out. Yes, yeah, chef. Look at the red team. They got them on the hot plate dressing the food. You can't be there isolated. Yes, yeah, chef. I'm telling you now, for your own sake, you cannot get stranded. All right, I'm going to need you to help me plate with this, Keith. I got to cook the next ones. No, you don't need to help me plate because I'm getting behind up here and I need your help. Keith is bothering me a little bit, so I think he's taking advantage of me because he knows I need him. All right, give me the plates, I'll plate it. Pull the fucking plates out yourself. Did you just curse at me? Yep. Oh, I see. We do all the work, and she just stands there and yells at us, and then she gets a restaurant? What the fuck is that? Here you go. Thank you. After finally delegating to her team, Virginia is closing the gap on Heather and has served 40 out of 50 of her appetizers. Bon appetit. Yeah, thanks. Wow, that is so good. Diners in Virginia's restaurants seem to be enjoying their appetizers. But will she be able to live up to the standards of the Red Rock president? I think the pasta was a little thick, and it took away a little of the flavor. Yeah. Meanwhile, some of Heather's diners have strong opinions as well, both pro. I know the soup really was phenomenal. I really do. And con. It's like warm saltiness. You know, Tappy. How long on two baths? Two minutes, chef. What is wrong with it? I didn't like it again. <clears throat> okay. She wants a scallop soup instead, please. Scallop. What scallop soup on the fly? Go light on that dressing. Go light, light, light on that dressing. It's coming back. I just kept on screaming at Sarah because she kept on messing things up. If you screwed up my chance, I'll come after you. There's seasoning on every salad, Every correct? salad. And why are we getting complaints if there's no seasoning? You know, the bitch switch went on all over the kitchen. Just tone it down a little bit. Chill out. With two dishes having already been returned to the kitchen, Heather knows she has very little room for error. It's medium rare. What's not rare? You want medium rare? Give yeah. It, give it. Give it. Give me medium rare right now. I'm not your friend for the next four hours. I'm your boss. This has to go perfect. Rachel, one second. Steaks, Rachel, right away. Heather's riding my ass. She didn't let up on us the whole time. Rachel, I need those steaks. Coming at you now, chef. Heather seems to have straightened out her quality control problem. These steaks are perfect. Thank you, chef. And her efforts are paying off. It's cooked perfectly. This is just how I like it. But some opinions are more crucial than others. You can cook a steak, that's for sure. They were 25. They, they want to see their main courses. There's, it will be ready. One it's coming minute. out. Although Virginia has served most of her appetizers, she's trying to play catch up on her entrees. Yes, please, everybody. Speed it up. Speed it up. Let's get through this. Come on. Yes, Tom's standing there playing with himself. Why are you standing there? I'm waiting. Don't ever stand there. Listen, don't, don't even go there, all right? Plate the fucking things. Two snapper, two short rib. Right. Talk. If you're standing there, I want you to hear you repeat it. Repeat it. Repeat it, please. I can take all the shit from a man, but I don't like being bossed around by a woman. Tom, don't fucking hold the line down. It's like listening to my ex-girlfriend. I, I don't know. Tom, two chicken rolls, two snapper. How long? They're coming. 30 seconds right now, chef. <laughs> ah, shit. Oh. You okay, Tom? Damn it. Burn or cut? Cut. Oh, shit. Bad? Yeah. Medic! Here, wrap this up in a towel. Go. Get out of here. Fuck. Motherfucker. Two chicken roulade, two snapper. How long? Hold up on those two snapper for a second. Tom cut himself. Son of a bitch. Tom cut himself, and I'm really stressed out about that. <sighs> Come on, where are they? Come on, man. Fuck. Fire this. See how these are all scouts? I'm not firing that right now because I'm nervous. Give me, help me with some band-aids. Come on, somebody. I'm bleeding through this shit. Come on. I just come on, hurry up. I, yeah, I show me. Oh, come on. Come I'll be all right, man. Yeah, no, no, but right now, I think I that know, kitchen needs you. I yeah, know. okay? I'm, I'm Rather than a big it. drama queen. Come on. You know, someone hurts themselves and you start going, oh, you drama queen, you pussy, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, what's that about, dude? Let's go. Drama queen. My ass. Come on. You ready? OK, hold on. Come on. Get out of here. What do I need? Two chicken roulade, two snapper. Two snapper, eight minutes. You need I'm, I'm ready. I'm ready. Let me know. All right, I just need to cut it. 
all right? Yeah, I was, just I was just cleaning the knife off and it went right through the rack. Tom, no point running back there like a little fucking rhinoceros. Get a grip, yes? So then how long? Two chicken roulade, two snap, or how long? Two minutes. Considering Tom had about three things to do, he just couldn't really grasp what was going on. Service, please. That's uh, table six. Speed it up, speed it up. Let's get through this. In an effort to catch up, Virginia pushes out entrees. It's really yummy. And her potential boss weighs in on her efforts. Okay. Yeah, she did a great job. She's back in the competition. Vegas, come on. You can do this, come on. Four chicken, one short rib. Bring it up now. What's with the roulade? Hey. How about move your big fat ass and look on the fucking, don't start that bullshit now. It's like a broken record. About the sweating and your fat, you know, and this and that. And I'm like, you know, I am what I am. And I'm not a bad looking guy, really. We're gonna bang out these entrees right now. Tom, you better be ready. I'm on it. Service, please. By pushing her brigade to the limit, Virginia has finally managed to serve all of her entrees but perhaps a little too quickly. Look at this plate. Can you tell me I can eat this much oil? Seriously, look at that. Service, please. What's the matter? They, they don't like it. It's, it's, it's bland. It's, it's too much oil in the plate. OK, what do they want instead? They would like the same. All right, fire to snapper how long? Keith, was there any more snapper left after you cleaned the face? No. OK, do we have any more snapper at all in the house? Snapper. No. Son of a bitch. I pretty much ran out of everything, and I didn't have a backup. Nope. Motherfucker, we don't have any fucking food. While Virginia has run out of food to replace her returned entree, Heather has started desserts. Come on! We need to get this desserts out right now! Yes, yes chef. chef! Chef, then I come to serve the desserts, and this is where it's absolutely crucial in any service that you keep that momentum up. Give me those empanadas now! I'm looking for the mint. The mint is down below the station. Behind. This is not how we played it in the beginning. This is not how we played it. The berries go like this off the side. The quenell goes right here. Uh, what? Hurry, Sarah, hurry. Come on. Let's move. Turn down. Better? Look, Sarah. Sarah, look. They don't look alike. Uh, Take it back with you and make do it again. It's retarded. This is so stupid. I made a mistake, but it's not the end of the world. I would say big deal, but that would probably land me a punch in the snot box. It's obnoxious. Now we got all the cream underneath and then, look. Guys, watch underneath the plates. Get them cleaner. You should be standing there cleaning their mess. Wipe the bottom of those plates. Wipe the bottom of every of these plates. <laughs> Make this perfect. Yes, perfect, chef. boys and girls. Just like you, Chef. While Heather's temper is running short with her staff, Virginia is just running short. I, I'm, a, I'm really concerned about the uh, fact that we have no food for the table. They don't want anything else, main course wise. They just want to have the dessert on table okay. six. Table six. Fire dessert on table six and make it perfect. With both kitchens having ups and downs this evening, each chef is determined to have a strong finish. Perfect. Let's end with the bang. That's it. Get the other desserts going, going, going. I want 51 first. Followed by 52. Yes, chef. One table at a time. Don't wash your hands. Speed it up. Speed it up. Service, please. Service, please. Table 53. Table 20. Yes. Almost a complete service. The bread pudding was just absolutely phenomenal. You know how to plate it? Make it look sexy. Come on. Finish that ticket. On, Where is on. it? Go, 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 go. Okay. I don't know where you're at, honey. Giacomo, read the freaking ticket. Come on. Table 40. Last. That's table. the last table. Yes, Wipe down. Hey, everybody's help. Let's not fade out here. This is the most important part. Hot fudge Sunday. You know, it's, it's very good. Service, please. Table 32. Two ice cream Sundays right here. Guys, nice job. Thank you very much. Nice job. Thank you very much for all of your help tonight. Here you go. Thank you. I tried to help Virginia win because I want to win $1,000. Honestly, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, nice job. Nice job. Nice job. Nice job. Nice job. Nice job. Salute. Right. Thanks, Salute. everybody. Salute. Chin, chin. Give each other a round of applause. Okay. Virginia. Yes, Chef. Heather. Yes, Chef. Well done. Thank you, Thank Chef. Thank you. Okay. 
Time to get real and time to get serious. Virginia. Yes, Chef. Heather. Yes, Chef. My decision will be greatly influenced by someone that you did not know was in the dining room this evening. Scott. Hi, Chef. Good to see you. Good to see you. Ladies, this is Scott Krieger. Hello. The president of the billion dollar Red Rock Resort in Vegas. He was dining from both menus. And his comments will weigh heavily on my decision tonight. Scott, just give us a quick insight to your experience from both menus, please. Heather, your sea bass dish, delicate presentation, exquisite, wonderful dish. Thank you. Virginia, short ribs, best I've ever had. Thank you, Chef, or thank you, Scott. <laughs> You're welcome. So, I think you guys did a great job. I got to tell you, this is a really, really tough decision right now. Thank you. Thank you, Chef. I appreciate that. Thank you. My pleasure. OK. Virginia and Heather, say goodbye to your staff. Go back to the dorm, and I will let you know when I've made my decision. Yes, Chef. Thank you. Good luck. Good job. Thank you so much. I think we kicked ass tonight. Giacomo and Tom have a reputation of being the weak links, and I wanted to be successful with them because I thought that, that would make me look better, and that's what I did tonight. I love you. I had a great, great crew. I'm really, really proud of them. You know, even if I don't win, I had a great restaurant for one night. That's it. That's it. Over. Over. I'm nervous about today. I'm excited. I'm happy. I'm sad. I'm I'm not sad. What am I talking about? I'm freaking amped. I think I lost. I think I lost. Going up against Virginia. She has nine lives. I have no idea what Chef Ramsay's decision is going to be. Chef Ramsay's decision tonight will be based upon customer comment cards, Scott Krieger's evaluation, and his own observations. I want to hear that countdown. Four minutes, three minutes, two minutes. Yes, Chef. Yes, Chef. I'm getting really concerned because nothing is coming out. They didn't care for it. Didn't care for it? No. You know what? Redo the salad. Bring me another one. I'm glad you made that decision, you know that. I honestly think you won. I honestly think you did. I honestly think you did. I honestly think you did. Uh, Heather and Virginia, the chef would like to see you guys upstairs. Let's go! Ugh. I'm not too confident right now. I'm nervous. I might not take it home tonight. Heather puts up a tough fight, and I have no idea who won tonight. I have no freaking idea, period. Ladies, on a personal note from me, well done to you both. Thank you, Chef. Heather, you started out as a sort of young girl. The way you've matured is extraordinary for your age. Thank you, Chef. Virginia, you've got something quite extraordinary. You can't buy that palette. Thank you. That's unique. It's a gift. I've read all the customer comment cards. I've studied those cards. They show a very slight edge in favor of one of you. And when I mean slight, I mean slight. And I've made my decision. One of the most difficult decisions I've ever made in my entire life. Behind you are two doors. The person whose door opens is the winner of Hell's Kitchen. In my hand are two keys. The winner's key will not only open one of these doors, it is also the key to your very own restaurant in Las Vegas. Virginia. Thank you, Chef. Heather. Thank you, Chef. Ladies, turn around, please. I 
think I'm gonna win? I can just feel it. I don't know, it's weird. It's like, how do you know when you're in love? You just know. If I don't win Vegas tonight, I will be heartbroken. Put your keys in the door. On my count of three, you will turn your keys. One. Two. Three. Congratulations. I'm so proud of you. Extraordinary, and I really mean that. You've got nothing ever to be ashamed about. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> oh my god. Congratulations, baby. I feel totally happy for Heather. I trust Chef Ramsay's decision, and I know one day I'll be as good as Heather. Take a deep breath, bro. Good job. Love your dad. Thank you. Well done. Well done, well done, well done. Heather won Hell's Kitchen because of her determination. She stuck to what she knew best, and she controlled her kitchen from start to finish. Mm -hmm. Oh, That's thank amazing. you. Uh -huh. Oh my god! That was feels like a dream. <laughs> I can't believe it! Oh my god! Hello. Okay. Oh, you guys have any time. You guys have Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, please. The winner of Hell's Kitchen, Heather. <laughs> Yeah. I'm so proud oh of you. Oh my god. I knew you could do it. I knew you could do it. I get to live my dream. I have my own restaurant now. <laughs> my life has just changed drastically. Heather clearly has great leadership qualities. And this, for a 25 year old cook, is a phenomenon. This woman is going to be a big success. At the Red Rock Resort, I'd like to introduce Heather, the winner of Hell's Kitchen, and our new executive chef. I'm gonna cry. Um, <laughs> I didn't think I would make it here this fast. I thought I'd be like 35, 40 before I got to have my own restaurant and everything. <laughs> I'm very happy my parents are here. We've been through a lot, so this is dedicated to them. It's definitely as much their restaurant as this is mine. It's all for you, baby. So every day. It's all for you. And to Gordon Ramsay. <laughs> It did, especially to him. He put me through hell, literally. <laughs> Thank you very much. Cheers. My work is done. It's been a phenomenal journey. I'm ready for the next challenge. So fuck you all. <laughs> Oh, 
is with the scallops. What I say to you about taste? Taste, taste! Right now, that's what I suggest you do. Buy a restaurant, put one table in there. Any more than that, you'd be fucked. I'm in a kitchen with Muppets. If you saute scallops in a non-stick pan, they won't stick. That's why it's called fucking non-stick! God bless America.